là 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 Pas mal. Pas mal, c'est ok. Mal, ça veut dire bad. Pas mal, c'est pas bad. Non, c'est pas bad. C'est pas bad. in Saint-Tropez. It's called uh, Lulu and they have several different locations. One is in Paris and one is in Saint-Tropez and I think a few other locations but I'm about to do a very very light makeup and tell you what I've been doing the past couple of days. But yesterday morning we went to La Table Tropezine and we had actually the one in Saint-Tropez there's two of them. One there is no um, area where you like sit and eat. The second one didn't have a sitting area last time we were here but this time it's right in front of the market. This time they did have a sitting area. So we sat on the balcony. It was the most beautiful 
thing ever. And so we were trying to make it to the market yesterday. So the market is Tuesdays and Saturdays from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. And unfortunately, we missed it because we were so exhausted. Another reason why I haven't been vlogging, we were so exhausted when we got here after a 12-hour um, flight and uh, the layover. And our, we missed our flight because they booked it like an hour apart from each other for some reason. So we missed that flight. And then the six hour difference is just, we always get exhausted when we travel here. So then we, uh, so yeah, we kind of missed the, the market, but we went and had coffee and had a little salad and it was amazing. So then a friend of mine recommended this place called La Yaka. It's a hotel and they have a restaurant inside. It's a Michelin star restaurant. So she told us to check it out. So afterwards we walked towards that restaurant to ask the person if they have any reservations. So we stopped by and we talked to the manager and we said, do you have any reservations for 8 p.m.? And he fortunately said yes. So the restaurant itself is called the patio and it's basically the patio of the hotel, which you can see the guest rooms from there. They are, it's absolutely insane. Like when I show you videos on here right now, I'll post some videos so you can see. Absolutely insane. It's so beautiful. I would love to stay at that hotel one time when we come here. But we like our five bedroom home with a view of uh, the ocean and our private uh, pool and everything. So we love it here. They have valet parking, so you don't have to worry about walking from the public parking area all the way to the restaurant. You can just give your car to valet. The experience, and I mean, I honestly did not want to get up from there. I wanted to stay there all night. The poolside was stunning, all the trees, all the lighting. It was such a beautiful experience, and it, I can say it was one of the most beautiful restaurants slash hotels I've been to in San Jose. Um, so yeah, definitely very excited to go back there. And the staff was so friendly. The whole thing was just an amazing experience. I mean, a thousand percent recommended, a thousand percent. So I'm getting ready for, we're going to the beach club today. As I said, it is about hour and a half drive. So it's on the other side of San Trofe. I mean, we're going to go this way, but it's like all around the other way. It's not that where the town center is. So we're going to go there and we're going to spend all day there. Um, there's apparently Bagatelle right next to it, Club 55, which is what we went to last time. If you watched my last vlog, we went to Club 55. But um, so on Tuesday also, we're going to Gourds, which is a city, like a village in Provence. So we're going to go there uh, early in the morning because they have a village. I mean, they have a market. They have a farmer's market in the morning. Then we're going to go to uh, explore a few villages. Then we're going to go to dinner at, what was that place called? Uh, then we're going to go to dinner at La Rangerie. I also want to show you what I got from Celine. I'm taking it with me today. You know, for blush, I use the Rare Beauty one. And I don't think I'm ever going to go back to anything I'm in love. If you could just see my view right now, like what I'm looking at. Oh, stunning. Let me turn you around and show you. I mean, look at this view. Look at those houses up there. And look at the ocean. Just breathtaking but yeah all right we're done with makeup let's unbox or should i get dressed and then unbox celine i think i'm gonna do that i'm gonna look cute when i'm unboxing my thing all right i'm gonna get dressed quickly and then i'm gonna unbox so this is what i'm wearing this is a dress from Chickwish. it's super flowy and very 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 lightweight like i have nothing on and it's very comfortable it has a sheer layer and then it has another layer underneath it so let's unbox our celine i am so excited for this
Oh my god, come on. <laughs> Just do it. <laughs> oh yeah. Really? Yeah, it's really interesting the way you make it. This is so delicious. One to ten. Solid nine. No way. Yeah. Solid nine. Very impressed. A little doggy. Oh, another one. Oh, Molly. Hi, little doggy. Hi, little doggy. You can hear me. Can you hear me? Hi. Hi. Outfit of the night. I am ready to go. We are ready to go. Jay is steaming his shirt. And the most important part of the night is this glow going on here. And it's this new beauty that I bought and I'm obsessed with it. It's Nooks oil that I just got from the pharmacy and 100% in love. I'm getting all the different ones is a dry oil and they come in like five, six different types. So I'm getting every single one. We are ready to go. We're running a little late. So I'll catch up with you in the car, but we got to close all the shades before we go because it gets super, super um, hot in here when we get back, although it's 7.30, so actually maybe not. The other day we got back in the house and it was super, super hot all day. The shades were open and the sun was like coming in very, very strong and it was extremely hot in here. So we usually close the, sorry, <laughs> let me catch my breath. We usually close the blinds right before we leave. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> Place. We are headed to an it Italian restaurant. But a, not this being is annoying. A, this is a part of the like, vlog. Your... So every time I oh, pick up hi. the camera, I'm not gonna say hi, oh, no, right? No, no. Because I already, said, already hi. said hi. Well, hi. Well, Hello, everyone. Hi. Hello, everyone. Bonjour. Hi. We are in. <laughs> We're in Saint Tropez. This one up. No, yeah. can you not cuss? Because <laughs> I'm gonna have to cut it out. There's probably like beeps. Every time I Instagram say that does that. No, this is YouTube. <laughs> Don't do it. Okay, so to... we're in Saint Tropez. We're headed to, um, I believe it's an Italian restaurant in the middle it's of Saint Tropez. It's Plastelis. Plastelis, and asked two gentlemen where we can go for dinner, and they recommended this place. Um, and when locals tell you to go somewhere, you go. I got that from you. Yeah. When the locals tell you to go somewhere, you go. Absolutely. They recommended Sicilia. It's an Italian restaurant right in on the, the port. On the port, right the on the last port. Last restaurant. Last restaurant. And it has stunning views because it has a terrace with five tables. Yeah. Yeah. So, so two tables can seat, I, I think if they're round tables, they can seat maybe four or five people. And then there are three seats that can seat two people. Um, would you say it was one of the most beautiful views ever? I was looking at you. Oh, thank you. So you did uh. have beautiful views. <laughs> But here's the thing, we had a full pack of biscuits right before going to dinner because we were hungry and we didn't know where we're going. And plus we had two yogurts, four yogurts, two each, like mm. small, small ones. So we were extremely, yeah, we ruined our appetite. Then we went but we there. we hadn't eaten all day. We hadn't eaten all day. We, uh, yeah, I had a yogurt in the morning. Je vais parler français. You, you want to say it in French? Je vais parler français. Je vais parler français. I, I had a little yogurt for breakfast in the morning. Yeah, well. He didn't have anything, but we ruined our appetite. Then we went to Sicilia, Sicilia and we ordered appetizers, not knowing that their pizza is it's humongous. By the it's, it's served by meters. They actually have that on their menu, like Half it tells you. Half a meter you. and a meter. Half a meter and a meter. There's two different sizes? Yeah. Which one did we get? Small we got, half a meter? We got two and a half meters. Are we serious? No. <laughs> It's like the whole table. But their pizza was humongous. It definitely um, 
makes two people full, but make sure before you go there you don't have anything before. Go with an appetizer. Go with an appetite. Um, en français. You could definitely order appetizer, but not a big one because the pizza is phenomenal. Then we ordered. Um, oh, tiramisu. That's tiramisu. Excellent. Tiramisu. Say it. The tiramisu is excellent. Il le prépare devant toi. Il prend trois ou quatre différents ingrédients et il le construit jusqu'à côté de la table devant toi. C'est vraiment incroyable. Jaune. <laughs> non, il n'y a pas de jaune euh, dans le tiramisu. <laughs> He said the tiramisu was 10 out of 10. No, I said solid 9. Oh, he did, yes. Listen, I know you complain to me when I don't <laughs> listen to you. <laughs> he said it was a solid 10. I, I thought... I, solid 9! I'm just, sorry, solid, solid 9! You don't nine. listen. Do not ever complain about me not listening to you. <laughs> oh, la, 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 la. Oh, la, la. He said the tiramisu was a solid 9. Oh, I God. thought... I thought that it was a 7. A six and a half, seven. It was... The presentation was amazing. The restaurant Ooh. atmosphere, everything was amazing. The staff were. Do you want to show some of the view or just us? I already recorded. Oh, that that view, that view right there. Well, it's hard to see right now because it's not focusing. Yeah. Yes. Gotta turn the camera around. I'll. Oh yeah, here. I don't need to drive. taking this for just walking around town and I'm so excited I just woke up less than an hour ago so my eyes are still very puffy but I'll take you along
just had coffee at this place and the coffee was absolutely amazing. They were right next to Sotheby's and this little town center. There's a lot of coffee places, but we decided to um, stop at this one because a lot of people are going in and out so and the coffee was phenomenal and the view you definitely have to come here just to check out the view from the balcony there is about five six seats on the balcony that you can have coffee and drinks and beer or whatever you want water and it's great We just came from the villages of Gords, not villages of Gords, Gords Village. That's where the market was. Now we're headed to Come on. Oh. <laughs> say it. Say it, say it. Segurette. Oh my god. <laughs> Segurette. Segurette. We're headed to Segurette. The views from here. But you haven't seen the views from there. I just said the views from here are breathtaking. The area is an example of this oh, area no? is called Coturon. Wow. This area is called Coturon. Cote Duron. Cote Duron. And that's Securet. 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 A little garden. <laughs> Much afraid. Where am I befriending? Body's tired. Feeling faint. Where can I? What's wrong with the view? What is close right now? Eyes are red. This is Gord's after the crazy market day. We just got here at 7 p.m. Golden hour and without the crazy market. There's a grocery store right here if you need anything. Little market, a bunch of parking on all these sides. And then the beautiful village of Gord's. That building is stunning. Let me zoom you in, especially with this hour, at this hour, with the sun hitting it. Foie gras. Foie gras. 
Foie. Foie. Ga. Ga. What's that? Uh, pickled. Pickled tomatoes. Pickled vegetables, like four sheets. Oh. Oh. Do you remember what the name of my food was? <laughs> Broken bone. Broken heart, where can I be mended? A little lonely, much afraid, where am I be? Body's tired, feeling faint. Where can I lay myself down? Eyes are red, buzzing head. Someone stop this sound. Excuse me, pardon. Euh, pardon. Quelle direction et les toilettes Ouh. Ils sont là ou ils sont là How would you like to start the vlog, uh, Monsieur? Bonjour tout le monde, euh, c'est Jima et Sarvi. On est euh, en route euh, à Nice. On va visiter le, le Old Town, euh, le, la vieille cité, je pense, on dit ça comme ça. Alors, euh, c'est l'année mardi, mercredi, jeudi, euh, jeudi après-midi, à peu près 3 heures de l'après-midi. Le soleil est très joli. Et on conduit, il y a beaucoup de trafic aujourd'hui, je ne sais pas pourquoi. On ne m'a pas dit pourquoi aujourd'hui. Il y a trafic, le, le, la mairie ne, ne m'a pas appelé euh, pour dire pourquoi il y a le trafic. Alors, tant pis, euh, on ne peut rien faire à ce moment. On va en voiture, on est sur A8. Et euh, aussi, c'est très très cher de conduire ici. Il faut utiliser les euh, interroutes, les, euh, les, les highways, as du American Scarlet. Uh, c'est très cher. Like, like toll road, toll, toll road, c'est ça coûte cher. Let's go. Anyways, donc euh... ah bonjour. Vous êtes ici. Salut. Oh, you're talking to me. I'm like, what's he saying? Salut, ça va? Ça va bien. Merci. Et toi? Bien, merci. Est-ce que vous êtes euh, professeur? <laughs> non. Je ne sais pas, je ne, je ne suis pas professeur. Je suis étudiante. Je travaille pour une agence, pour une agence immobilière. Yes. Oui. Dis, je travaille pour une agence immobilière. Oui. Je travaille. Je travaille pour une agence. Pour une agence immobilière. Immobilière. First of all, how insane is this road and 
the fact that it's two-way road. <laughs> so let's situate the camera. Oh, no. What? Somebody died. What? Somebody? Somebody died. Good morning everyone! <laughs> well it's not morning, it's 2 p.m. We are headed to Chateau uh, de Saint. <laughs> Chateau de Saint for a wine tasting and a, a wine tour first and a wine tasting. I called their place this morning and they said they had a, can uh, a cancellation and that uh, they could fit us in at 3 p.m. So we're about half an hour away. It's supposed to be a really beautiful chateau and they're supposed to have apparently really good wine. So we're gonna go there and then we're gonna go. It's in the, the chateau, middle. Pour elle. Le vin, pour moi. No. What did you lie about? <laughs> What'd you say? What did you say? Shibble. You have to translate. No. Oh my god. Okay. So last night we had food at. Do you remember the name of the restaurant? Uh, no. Restaurant Acciardo. Acciardo. Do. Acciardo. Excellent. Excellent. No, it wasn't excellent. That was excellent. No, it was. The atmosphere was amazing. The food was 5 out of 10. Your pasta was better than uh, Cipriani. Cipriani. Whatever. Uh, and what did you give? Cipriani. I did. I didn't like the pasta at all. I ended up having. Oh, we didn't update you on Cipriani. So apparently it's Cipriani, not Cipriani. We said it wrong. But they had a three-year lease signed, and their lease will end this season tomorrow. So yeah. So Saturday is the last day. <laughs> so they don't know what they're gonna do last uh, next year. They're, they don't know if they're gonna reopen or it's gonna become something else. But our server Max was really really nice, and he said that on he lives in Paris. And he said that after Saturday, everyone's gonna just go home. He's going back to Paris. So yeah, we might go there tomorrow. We're like, again. are you gonna stay around? You know, like just be like a local. Like, oh, hell, the, I'm yeah. eating on Saturday. Sunday. <laughs> he said, nope, like, I'm oh, going back to Paris. <laughs> so uh, for Cipriani, the food, I got the bolognese um, ravioli, no, not ravioli, gnocchi. Gnocchi with uh, bolognese, bolognese, bolognese sauce. But it tasted. <sighs> I want to throw up after every drive. Um, it tastes, after every drive. Not after every drive. After just said every drive. Of drives. But uh, it tasted a lot like olives to the point that I couldn't yes, uh, it eat it. And he said it's because the olive oil that they use. But no, uh, but no, it wasn't because I cook with olive oil only, and my food never tastes like olives. It straight up tasted like there's olives in the sauce. So he changed it for me to. But he agreed. The chef he agreed. agreed. The chef okay, was over. like, "You're absolutely right for whatever, whatever. Reason. It's okay, but not for the restaurant. Like it was too much for the restaurant, something like that. But they changed it for a vegan, not vegan, uh, vegetarian pasta. So it was just pasta, sauce, a white sauce, and cheese. I think uh, Parmesan cheese, but. The tiramisu, 15 out of 10. It was the I best. I don't think you know how ratings work. The, it was the best tiramisu I've ever had in my life. There was another one two years ago where we had at a restaurant near Palomo Beach in Nice, mm -hmm. near Nice. And that was the best tiramisu I've ever had until Cipriani. It was fantastic. Do you agree? Mm -hmm. It was fantastic. Like the first bite um, took me out. <laughs> so that's for Cipriani and what did we do yesterday oh yeah yes last night we went to the restaurant that I showed you and we just walked around Nice all day and it was great oh uh, one of the days before I started vlogging we went to Lulu Beach Club we went to Lulu Beach Club and we didn't have a re we didn't have any reservations so make sure you reserve a spot before you go but they were kind enough to give us a bed their beds are $80 per person and $70 per person depending on the sorry 80 euros per person 70 euros per person depending on if you want to be there on the front row or the back row and then for the restaurant you need a separate reservation and the restaurant is only open during lunchtime I believe and then their kitchen closes but you can still sit at the table and just party I think they have drinks until they're open but the restaurant closes so we're gonna go there again sat Sunday but I'll vlog more I'll show you more when we go on Sunday and um, we just did a casual beach day the other day. Tomorrow we're going to another beach called L'Escalé. L'Escalé. And it was recommended to us by our server at Lulu. He said that it's a picnic style beach, which most of the beaches here 
technically are. You can bring your own everything, drink, wine, rosé, food, whatever you want. But he said you have to go there. So we're going to go try that out. And then Sunday we're going back to Lulu's. And Monday morning we're leaving. Sad face. <laughs> but yeah, we'll re we will um, try not to throw up. <laughs> Very. You're having fun with I'm these rolls. You're having a blast with these rolls. I'm gonna throw up. Yesterday I got very nauseous and I was like, why am I getting nauseous? I'm not on my phone and I realized <laughs> it's his drive. <gasps> okay, what? It's driving, the car's driving. The car's driving. The car is like not that good. I mean, look at this. Oh. Wow. I mean, you guys have to look. He was coming at yeah, he was, uh, 80 miles an hour. Yeah, he was coming like 80 miles an hour, 80 kilometers an hour, and he was in the middle of the road. But these roads are crazy, they are... And they're not, they don't forgive. No, and the cars are like, oh, I'm just gonna pass, just keep going 80, don't slow down, you're gonna pass, you can do it. That's their mentality, they don't slow down. People do, do not slow down. <laughs> the roads are beautiful. This used to be connected. Used to be connected to that. that. Broken, broken. And then the now road. they redid the road broken, and removed the bridge. Are you okay? Yeah, yes. <laughs> a little lonely, much afraid. Where am I? Body's tired, feeling faint. Where can I lay myself down? This is their map and all these different ones. Wait, it's not focusing. Um, are different types of uh, grapes that grow? That they grow? We are. Where are we right now? Are somewhere here. <laughs> oh, we're here right now. And here. We're here. And this is the chateau. Where the bees? No, this is the chateau. These are all the olive trees because they also grow. Oh, just these because they also grow olive oil. They also grow olives to make olive oil. And I had too much wine. <laughs> And this is where they keep all their bees to make honey. So we just arrived to this town. I think you pronounce it Kokorun. <laughs> and uh, this was recommended to us by the girl at the uh, winery. And she said that it's known to be one of the most beautiful villages one of the most beautiful villages in uh, south of France in this area and there's a little winery there is a multiple restaurants there is a beautiful garden which we're about to go and see it's already looking like it's an amazing little town and then after this we're gonna go to another little town there are like three or four right next to each other so weather is fantastic I haven't talked about weather I know I always talk about weather in the US and how horrible the summers are the weather is fantastic it's not humid at all it's like 75 ish Fahrenheit during the day so it's like perfect for the beach and the pool and everything and then at night it gets a little chilly so I always need like a very light coat at night and this is what the little village looks like everyone looks like they're local not a lot of tourists that's what it looks like at least I'm gonna wait for Jay to finish buying a few pastries. Oh, there he is. Before going to walk around. And he's already eating his snacks. <laughs> what, what'd you get? Show us what you got. Ooh, how is it? <laughs> well, may I have a bite? Absolument. Absolument.
And it's not nothing special. This is just a little bread. Brioche. Wasted probably 100 calories right now. <laughs> oh, Lana. No zoom out. <laughs> How cute is that house? Yeah. <laughs> this restaurant has seven years of Michelin star. That's seven years. Uh, she said. <laughs> she said. Uh, go through the arch. This arch. Wow, this plant. Oh my goodness, stunning. It all comes from that little. This whole tree. He loves his meat. He stops at every meat store he possibly can. Let me. It's like a kid in a candy store with meat. <laughs> oh, mon dios. <laughs> Kids are coming home from school. They're going home. Such a cozy, beautiful street. Ah, so I'll zoom in. And of course, this is a two-way street. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What'd you get? You look like a kid in a candy store when you see meat. Yeah. <laughs> you got some sosies? I got some sosies. <laughs> Do you enjoy it, Robin? Eh? Yeah, I don't know. You she sure said the rest, she said under the arch. Oh my god, are you serious? This is so cute. Oh my god. This is so cute.
super cute local beach that we found and we really enjoyed it because it was very quiet very um, secluded and there were maybe like 20 30 people there and there were no waves because it was a cove uh, beach kind of thing so there were not a lot of waves it looked like a pool and it was crystal clear it was very lovely and so we are headed right now to Marseille train station we're gonna give the car back we are headed to Paris which will be a separate separate vlog and it's supposed to be a three three hour yeah, I think TGV. Three hour with TGV, train ride to Paris. We're very excited. We have already gotten a, um, a place there. So, uh, a quick recap of this trip. My favorite part was when we did brunch at home and we breakfast when we went grocery shopping and we did breakfast at home. And the second favorite part was Provence when we went to the market and walked around little villages. What was your favorite part? Une seconde, madame, je suis en train de conduire. Vous comprenez? <laughs> Did you say your favorite part? Non, pas encore. Oh, excellent. Excellent. Uh, ma favorite part. <laughs> favorite part? <laughs> uh, nice. Nice. J'ai aimé oh, yeah. Nice. Nice was lovely. Nice was really lovely. That was maybe my third or fourth favorite, but it was really lovely. Honestly, every day was lovely. And we will leave the vlog here and we'll see you on the next vlog. Au revoir!